welcome Aquarius I'm back y'all with another video um this is going to be a general read so this reading may or may not resonate with you if it does happen to resonate then good the reading was for you make sure to hit the thumbs up if it was not you can simply thumbs down you can simply uh check out your moon and your rising your venus sign you can also there's a lot of different readers here on the on this platform you can go check out a reading from them it's really doesn't is nothing all right so um let's talk and let's see what energy we got coming towards for the month of september all right so i'm gonna start off we we're gonna see what we got here well, let me see. Let's pull from the Kipper deck. And let's see what messages we get from there first. And then we'll jump into the tarot. So I hope all of you are doing well. Hope everyone is doing well, guys. And um, as well, guys, if you would like to purchase the money magnet oil by the Empress, that information is going to be in the drop box below, guys. I am currently running a special for this weekend. You're going to get free shipping for U.S. orders only. You'll get free shipping and um, as well as 15% off on your reading. So you don't have to put in any type of code or anything. It's going to automatically come off at checkout, okay? So you click on the link. The link is going to take you to my Etsy shop and uh, take you to the website to where you can order the money magnet oil, okay? All right, so Aquarius, we got expectation that wanted to come out. And we got a house at the bottom of the deck. And we also have mature man here. And a child could possibly be involved as well, too. But let's see. Let me get another card for Aquarius. What other message is there for Aquarius? Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Okay, we got main female. We got main female here. And what other messages there for Aquarius? Okay, we got pathway. Okay. So I got occupation, bad health, and give. Some of you could be going to visit somebody because they aren't feeling too well. I see that here as well. Like somebody's going to take somebody flowers because they may, you know, not be feeling too well, may have a cold, may not, you know, just not feeling well. Um, but we got occupation here. Somebody could possibly work with, um, work in the hospital or a nursing home or like um i'm getting like um cna or a nurse or something like that or a doctor or something to that type of energy but someone here is gifting someone um that i'm that it looks like someone is in you know their health is you know on someone's on your mind and you're gifting them sending them a gift um expectation and main female, it's like somebody feel this could possibly make you feel like you're obligated, like somebody is expected for you to do this. Um, and then we got a pathway. So let's pull, let's see what we got. I'm gonna put these to the side. Give me a message for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. General read, please. Aquarius. The Eight of Wands. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Ooh, okay four of cups and we have nine of swords so something is worrying you but you're not seeing anything something's bothering you but you're not seeing anything um it's about a relationship or a connection that you have with somebody and i feel like for some of you it may be maybe whether or not if you want to 
bond, if you want to come together with someone or if you want to do something single and independently, okay? Because I got the Nine of Pentacles here and I got the Three of Cups, okay? And the judgment is saying that this is a final decision. So you're trying, you're, you're holding, I feel like this is on your mind, but you're just not saying anything on uh, whether you want to do something independently or if you want to do something in a group setting, okay? So let's see. Got the Ace of Pentacles. It could be in regards to money or about an opportunity um, from your past. Oh, I'm getting like somebody is jealous because somebody's getting attention. Look at the Six of Wands here. The Six of Wands and the Five of Swords. I got some hating, some hating going on. Ace of Swords. Somebody's getting some attention for something that they're doing. And somebody is jealous. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm seeing that. Oh, the strength card jumped right right out. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but the strength card, oh, I'm getting a strong woman. A strong woman. The Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus. I got Virgo's energy here as well, too, with the Hermit and the Empress. But this is definitely um a strong woman, somebody who did some soul searching, who did the inner work, who healed themselves. Like, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. The world. Okay. The two of pentacles. The eight of pentacles. And what's the outcome? The six of wands. Okay. So, I'm seeing with the world and the six of wands here, I'm seeing like a big, a really big uh, hug or a clap, on the, a clap on the back, a standing ovation, being noticed and being recognized. But what I'm also seeing is as well is that there's a little bit of, um, I'm getting like a little bit of jealousy or a little bit of hating going on. Okay, so nine of swords, something is worrying you. Why is the nine of swords here? Yeah, the five of wands, the competition. Competition. You could be feeling like left out or um, you could be feeling like just like you don't fit in. Yeah, somebody knows the truth about somebody, and somebody's planning on stabbing somebody in the back with the Ten of Swords. Somebody doesn't want somebody to say something. Um, Cause they, I'm just getting like some. Somebody knows the truth about somebody. I see that. Why is the Five of Wands here? Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody's plotting on somebody's downfall. The Two of Wands. And the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands is definitely somebody's planning on rushing in and attacking somebody's business with the Three of Pentacles um, or somebody, something, a project or something. Somebody's planning on uh, trying to come in and destroy somebody's, what somebody's working on. This could even be somebody at the job. You may feel like somebody is like in competition with you or is always hating on something that you got going on. But I feel like somebody's being real childish here and somebody being real sneaky and manipulative. The magician and the page of swords. Very immature energy and very much so somebody spying on somebody. Okay? And somebody, um... Somebody, you, this could be somebody in the family with the Ten of Pentacles, but I'm also seeing here that somebody uh, is trying, somebody's focus is definitely on money, okay? I feel like somebody's trying to attack somebody's finances, okay? Somebody's plotting. Why is the Two of Wands here? The Queen of Swords. You guys, is energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And plan on taking action. King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, taking action. And then look, the Seven of Wands. Somebody's trying to come in and block something that somebody has going on. But it's not going to go anywhere with the Two of Swords and the Chariot. It's not going to, it's not going to, I mean, it's, it's not going to go nowhere. And then the Hangman is just going to just kind of like just be, you know, 
sitting there. Somebody's trying to attack somebody's business or somebody's, um, this is a work situation. But you're not saying nothing about it is what I'm seeing. You're not going to say nothing. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Okay, somebody told a lie. Told a lie. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Knight of Wands. Somebody keeps telling lies. Why is the Four of Cups here? Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. Somebody want to expose somebody. I feel like y'all want to expose somebody. The Nine of Cups in the Moon and the Knight of Cups and the Sun card. Want to hide. You might feel like this person wants to hide, but you got something on this person. You got something on this person. It's somebody that y'all don't like. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Two of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, because y'all ain't friends no more. Y'all ain't cool no more. King of Swords, Justice, you could be dealing with, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but somebody want to see something fall apart with the Ten of Wands and the Tower, like, somebody just want to see something fall apart here, and the Six of Swords, and move on, but somebody know truth about somebody, yeah, that's Five of Swords, and the Ten of Swords definitely keep popping out, and this is definitely some hating ass energy. So it's definitely some hater, some hating going on. Okay. Five of swords and ten of swords. Somebody stopping somebody in the back. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody trying to stop somebody in the back. I don't know who. I don't know if this is y'all energy or somebody else energy, but the energy look real gritty. Why is the ace of pentacles here in the past? The Ace of Pentacles and a t and a Four of Swords. Somebody tired of somebody um, keep having all of these opportunities with the Ten of Wands. This is saying that you know that somebody's carrying a heavy burden. The tower is like somebody trying to crumble this, crumble, make all of this crumble, and somebody will be happy when it fall apart too. This is real nasty energy. Somebody trying to block somebody's blessings. Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody trying to block somebody's blessings. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is nasty. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Nine of Cups and the Moon. Mm-hmm. Gosh, why is the Moon card here? The Three of Swords. Somebody wants somebody to be heartbroken or talk about sad stuff. This is somebody that I feel like you've been close to already and the relationship just kind of went sour. And it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, got Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups is definitely in the Three of Swords and somebody telling and talking about sad stuff. Telling sad stories. Somebody with the Nine of Cups and the Moon, this is somebody hitting intentions. Two, two, two. I see two, two, two right now. Two, two, two is looking at me right here on my clock. So somebody need to find some balance. Somebody need to do some meditation and, and get some balance in their life because somebody here is a hater. Somebody here is jealous of somebody's success. Somebody here is jealous. I don't know if it's y'all energy or somebody energy towards y'all, but it's some real nasty energy. Strength card. Moving ahead. We got the strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Why is, Leo, why is, why is the strength card here? Ace of Wands. Somebody gonna come back strong. Somebody gonna come back strong. Why the Ace of Wands here? With a new idea or something creative. Why is the Ace of Wands here? And a Page of Cups and a Hierophant. You could be dealing with, definitely dealing with a Taurus. Why is the World card here? You, you, I feel like you guys are thinking about closing a chapter. So this could have been something that happened in the past. Right now, you could be feeling like, you know what, I'm going to close this chapter and start fresh with the with the full card and the world card. This is saying that I want to close this chapter and start over with the full. Okay? Your intuition could be telling you to let this go and move on with the high priestess and the six of swords or your intuition is telling you that this person done moved on but i feel like it was a lot of spiteful energy a lot of 
tit for tat, a lot of immature behavior here. And I feel like it was that way because you was once upon a time close with this person with this two of cups energy. You was close with this person uh, before and something happened that left a bad taste in your mouth. But I feel like right now you want to close the chapter and start new. And how they're viewing the situation is two of pentacles. Or oh, somebody's, they feel like you still mad and you still, they feel, I feel like y'all both uh, feel like, you know, each other is jealous or each other got an issue because they're viewing the situation as two of pentacles and a five of swords. So they feel like some, like, you know, you still in a bad place with them, with the five of swords and saying, you know, like keeping drama going. Four of Wands and the Empress. Somebody's mother could be involved or aunt or sister or someone of feminine energy. It could be definitely in a family with the Four of Wands here or somebody's wife here. I'm seeing that as well. But if somebody's waiting on somebody to take some type of action. They're waiting for you to take some type of action um, towards them. And then seeing if how you was going to make something work. But I feel like for a lot of you, this could be somebody at work or this could be somebody that, that's in your family or you treated them like family that was real close to you. Why is the Five of Swords here? Four of Pentacles, yeah. They feel like you guys are still holding a grudge. Four of Pentacles and Five of Swords, somebody holding a grudge. And uh, the thing about this is their intuition is telling them that you're possibly, that you've been talking about them the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords, that you've been talking about them bad with the Seven of Wands. Uh -huh. The King of Cups and the Ten of Swords, they feel like y'all stabbed them in the back. Y'all stabbed them in the back. And they feelings, they feelings are in it, because I got the King of Cups here. They feelings are in it, and they feel like you stabbed them in the back. So in the Host of Fears, we got the Eight of Pentacles. You trying to wait for them to get over it. With the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. But it's taking them a long time. They taking their time. And like I said, somebody's mom or somebody's mother or it's a feminine energy here. I'm getting like a mother or an aunt or a grandmother or something. I'm just getting like there's a woman here. Somebody's wife. I don't know. But it's somebody who has a title. But you was waiting for them, waiting for them to get over it. But it's taking them a long time to come around to for them to get over it. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you want you, I feel like you wanted you want a second chance with this person. With the judgment and the king of wands could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries. But I'm getting like you do want a second chance with this person, but you feel like you gonna wait and keep your distance for a little while. Got the seven of pentacles and a hermit card. Could be dealing with a Virgo. The seven of pentacles is saying you're gonna be patient. You being patient with this person and wait for this person to come back around. But somebody you feel like they did you wrong and they feel like you did them wrong. So the outcome is the six of wands. Why is the six of wands here? Okay, Six of Wands, they feel like you be getting, okay, so the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, um, somebody's giving somebody attention or somebody's getting attention, a lot of attention, but somebody wants to destroy, somebody's trying to attack that. I got you guys' energy with the Star card and the Eight of Swords. And, okay, so somebody's afraid that somebody's going to come tell something and destroy something. Um, I'm getting that, like, I'm not sure if that's y'all energy or theirs or their energy. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, somebody's moving forward, getting a lot of attention and progressing. I'm seeing somebody is progress progressing here. And somebody said it. Somebody's tell their business. Page of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. And somebody's happy for somebody becoming a boss. Um, I got the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Emperor. Somebody is uh, moving forward in either work, career, or a business, starting a business. Um, 
And somebody's getting a lot of attention. Somebody's, um, I'm getting like somebody's proud. You may be looking from the outside in and being like, you know what, I'm, I'm proud of them for what they're doing. But they still holding a grudge. Like I said, some y'all are still holding a grudge with each other. But you're pretty much to the point now. You're pretty much to the point now where you're ready to close the chapter and start fresh with this person. But they're still holding a grudge. Why is the fool here? Yeah, the star card, which is you guys' energy. Why is the star card here? But you hope the truth come out or they see something for what it is. Why is the ace of swords here? Tell the truth. Okay, so you're hoping that this person tells the truth. And then y'all can start over. So you hope that this person clean up their mess or something that they said or something that they did. And then you'll be ready to close the chapter. But this person is still holding a grudge and they feel like you're holding a grudge against them. Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. You're keeping your distance. You're watching them from a distance. But I feel like somebody here, yeah, you're you're keeping your distance. King of Swords and a Hermit. Um, you want to be in a better place than this person with the Sun and the Seven of Pentacles, but you're just waiting. Like you, you're waiting to see how this gonna go. And I feel like you genuinely do love this person with the King of Cups and the Lovers. Like you genuinely do love this person. But you, you know, there's some things that this person needs to clean up before you can close, fully close this chapter and move forward, you know, and deciding whether or not if you want to have any dealings with this person. Yeah, see, I'm getting like waiting to make your decision. Um, for some of you, like I said, if, it could be involving family, but somebody is, you guys are really, really cautious with this person. And you feel like, you feel like, um... Maybe they've changed, like, the way that they move or their actions. But you're still uncertain. But somebody here is doing very well financially uh, with the Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Somebody is doing very well um, if someone here started a business or has... Um, somebody here is doing well. Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Somebody here is doing very well uh, financially or business-wise or career-wise. But I do feel like the you know chapter a chapter needs to be closed. Um, and if there's something that you need to get off your chest, you need to go tell that person. You need to go tell that person that. Now I do want to see. Maybe you feel like this person is spent for you to do something for them because they feel like they're the main person and i feel like that's why these cards here came out but i do want to very i do want to clarify expectation yeah somebody expected for somebody to make some changes why is the world fortune here the tower somebody is you it's like you expect for me to give you another chance after you did what you did is what I'm getting to. Why is the Tower card here? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Moon. Definitely Pisces energy. And the Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody stabbed somebody in the back. We got the Hermit and the Hermit and the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Virgo's energy. But somebody got stabbed in the back, most definitely. And you may feel like. You expect for me the you expect for me to be cool with you after you did what you did. Uh, we got pathway. Why is pathway here? The six of wands. See, success is definitely on the horizon here. Yeah, see the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and somebody's pathway is like is somebody has the road paved for success going ahead. But somebody's intuition is telling them that somebody is being sneaky or telling lies and keep stirring up mess. I see that as well, too. Why is main female here? The strength card, Leo energy, and the four of wands, again. But this could be that you thought that you and this person had a strong connection, a strong bond, a strong uh, household. But you may feel like this person plot, try to plot on your downfall with the two of wands, 
and the five of wands. So you may feel like this person plotted and schemed against you to shake up your foundation and to make you feel worried or or stressed out here. But this was somebody, this happened in the past with the Six of Cups. And this left you disappointed, okay? This left you disappointed. So, let's see what the angels got to say. And then I'm going to let you guys slide on out of here. All right, so let's see what message the angels have for you. What message do you have for my Aquarius? That are in this situation. We have choose a new direction. Choose a new direction. Try something different. Try something different. And we got wait. Give me one more card for Aquarius. We got trust. So let me get a clarifier for choose a new direction. Knight of Cups. Choose a new direction on how you approach this person or how you approach the situation. The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. That's somebody saying that somebody, the way that they respond may be a little flamboyant. Um, but somebody's feelings here. The Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Ace of Cups is, um, you know, being more caring and letting that cup of, cup of water overflow. But let's see why the Knight of Wands is here. Yeah, try a new approach. Try a different approach how you approach this person. Because um, this person, I got a Ten of Wands. This person could be overwhelmed um, and very blunt in their communication with this King of Swords. So you're going to have to be patient with this person because this person, it could come off very like you know easily triggered okay and i do feel like you do love this person with the lovers and the king cups um you're just waiting you're just waiting here but that's what i got for that and let's see what we got for uh uh wait why is wait here wait to say something wait to communicate with this person okay Spirit is saying wait. Why is the page of wands here? Or wait for them to reach out to you. Your intuition is telling yeah, see, your intuition your intuition might might be telling you to go ahead and come towards this person and say something and explain explain to them how you feel. But spirit is saying wait till they come to you or just wait it out. Why is the high priestess here? Yeah, nine of wands, guard it, okay? Because the truth is, some type of truth is, has already been came out or the truth going to end up coming out. Um, but I'm getting like somebody think that they better. Four of swords and the ace of pentacles. Somebody feels like somebody think that they're better. And then we got trust. Two of Wands. Trust the process. Two of Wands. Why is Two of Wands here? The Two of Cups. Okay, planning on being together. But it's going to take some time. Knight of Pentacles is saying that it's going to be a slow transition. Okay, go ahead and start planning how you're going to, you know, approach this person. So it'll manifest. Um, it'll manifest to your reality. But take your time with it. Like I said, for some of you, this is somebody who feels like they're out, like they're outcast. Four of Wands and the Six of Wands, and then the Four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles are saying that somebody feels like they doesn't, they don't fit into a certain group of people or a certain group. Uh, you know, somebody feels left out, like they don't fit in. So I'm getting like somebody's getting or needs advice from an older woman or a mother. Somebody's getting advice from somebody. I'm seeing that as well too. But I'm getting like there's a comp there's competition here. And the Empress and the Five of Wands is definitely saying that there's females or males. Like it's just a group of individuals that's hating on each other. But somebody's intuition is telling them that they got to keep their guard up and watch what they say. 
to this person. Because I keep getting like this person think that they better. But you know the truth about this person. And they ain't no better. Um, I'm getting that as well. And you keeping your eye on this person too. You watching this person possibly from the sidelines not saying nothing. With that paid the source energy there. But Spirit is saying wait to see how you gonna you know you should approach this person because this person has king of swords energy like they're not going to um they're easily triggered when it comes to how you approach them okay so i hope this reading resonated if it did guys go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and i will chat with y'all later ciao